Just a shout out to everybody who's pursuing their dreams. You feel me? <laughs> Love yourself first. Follow me on Instagram. Leave this place. Hi guys, welcome to CGSF YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Laurie, and today we have a Black History Month special. And on the seat here, I have the one and only Yonathan. <laughs> Yeah, Yon, thank you for coming and honoring this interview. Um, so yeah, you're just going to be sharing a little bit about yourself and how you started content creation and what it's like. So yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for having me here. You know what I mean? It's a true honor for me to be on this channel today. And um, a little bit of myself is I started off with the videos on WhatsApp, right? What's up stories? That's where I started. You know, I was always posting on stories of me just doing crazy things. And then I had a lot of people replying to my stories. Right. Yeah. And then uh, when TikTok came into the scene, I decided to, you know, just try out my luck. You know what I mean? And at first I wasn't even pursuing any sort of um, high type of success or whatever. You know, it was more of I love doing this. I love sharing my create my creativity. And so uh, why not just try out this this app? And then uh, long story short, I got here. You know what I mean? So uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so uh, that that's crazy because like, I feel like your growth was so, well, it was mind blowing. I won't lie, I, like it basically came out of nowhere, you know. <laughs> yeah, so um, like, what what was your like content strategy, like process, like, like what was the behind the scenes like for you, like in terms of like filming, editing? Of course, I see like you do a lot of like different perspectives and different um, mm -hmm. points of views. Mm -hmm. So like, how was that for you? Okay. So uh, first I started off with using like TikTok sounds and everything, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, it's very nice, but it's not very authentic. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to do uh, my own thing, you know? So um, I started just creating my own ideas, you know? So because of the different perspectives, I'll do that because sometimes within my own body and my own personality, I feel like I have many personalities, you feel me? So right now, you know, it's me speaking, you know, but sometimes when I get in front of the camera, you know, I might just bring out someone else or here and there and um, that sort of, allows me to do more and bring out different types of things. Oh, that's amazing, that's amazing. So how has it been for you, like, being a black creator and trying to, like, make a place for yourself? Because I know, like, there are a lot of, like, um, when I say white TikTokers, <laughs> yeah, so there are a lot of them. So how has it been, like, securing a place for yourself and, like, this is me, this is what I do, and allowing, like, your audience to know, like, this is what you do? How has that been for you, like, as a black creator? It's been unique, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's very important to acknowledge the fact that a lot of the trends and, um, you know, challenges that come across TikTok are from black creators, you know? So I already have that sense of confidence and motivation knowing that I am a black creator yeah. and I am the one who's responsible for, you know, um, trends and challenges. And I see myself as part of that, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's easier for me to bring in my own thing and to find myself a place within this very privileged circle. You know, you, you, you spoke uh, about challenges, so I was like, how have you been able to overcome that if you have, m like, met any challenges? Like, what has it been? And, like, how is your, like, your mental health, especially with, like, social media pressure and, like, people, like, hating and mm -hmm. people trying to tell you what to do? How, how, have, how have you been able to overcome that? Okay. See, one thing in this life is once you understand who you are yeah. and what you want to accomplish, it's not easy for different things to distract you or stop you. You feel me? Once you understand what you're trying to accomplish and you understand your purpose, it's easier to overcome everything. And a really important thing also is finding some sort of balance between the social media and your outside life. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I play a lot of sports and I hang out with my friends and I like to go out mm -hmm. so that when it comes back to social media, I'm refreshed and I'm ready to go. Yeah. Oh, that's, that, that's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, can you tell us about a time you had to put like a little bit extra work into like your content because you're like okay like you feel like oh you like really put in a lot of effort so like you're expecting like great result from that mm -hmm. like a time that happened okay so there'll be times where not times but then every single time i make a video i always want it to be the best version it can be mm -hmm. right so it doesn't i can't necessarily choose one time because it's almost every time for me yeah. so sometimes i'll have to reshoot certain scenes a hundred times over mm -hmm. just to make sure that I get it to perfection. You know what I mean? And yeah. sometimes the imperfection within the work can be perfect. Yeah. 
you know so it's also important to understand that aspect yeah, yeah. amazing um so like what exactly like what's your favorite feature of tiktok like why that platform because i mean you could have done instagram you could have done youtube or you can still do youtube so like but why tiktok so uh, before I answer that question, YouTube channel coming real soon too. Please uh, keep an eye out for that. Definitely. And um, when it comes to TikTok, I think it's easier to grab an audience, mm -hmm. right? Between you and I and the audience, yeah. we have to acknowledge that sometimes the people that you know may not support you exactly. like the people who don't know you, right? Yeah. I feel like if I put the same amount of work into Instagram, I don't think I would have blown up the way that I did on TikTok. Yeah. You know, I went on TikTok as a stranger that nobody knew. I made people laugh, I guess. People like my content, and so I'm here today, yeah. you know? And I think making that transition into Instagram and YouTube will be easier, because I have this confidence now, and I have that sort of my, my niche in what I want to do. Oh, that's great, that's great. So, like, one of your videos has, uh, like, 10 million views. Mm -hmm. Like, did you anticipate that? Like, how did you feel? Like, when you saw the views going up, yeah. how, how was it? Like, how was that feeling? Okay. Okay, so I dropped that video, right? I dropped that video before I played football with my friends, right? So I dropped that video, and mind you, I'm not afraid to drop whatever I want on TikTok, yeah. you feel me? I wake up with an idea. If I like it, I'm doing it. You know, I don't care what people think, mm -hmm. you know? So I just dropped that video, and um, I thought it would be just like any other video, yeah. you know? When I drop videos, I don't aim to get millions of views because once you do that, I guess your authenticity sort of wears off, yeah. right? So I stuck to what I wanted to do, and then uh, I saw my phone and I saw a lot of views and it kept on climbing, kept on climbing. I'm like, oh my goodness, I think this video is going to blow up. Yeah. And before I knew it, yeah, I got <laughs> to uh, that amount of views. I was, I was very shocked. I won't even lie. Yeah. yeah. So um, before we like wrap up, mm -hmm. so do you have like any words of wisdom mm -hmm. for like any struggling creator out there that is like doubting themselves and probably like second guessing the content they have to put out? Okay. Um, this is uh, maybe general already well known. But comparison is a thief of joy, yeah. right? There will always be someone, someone on social media who may, do, who may be doing more than you, mm -hmm. okay? Someone who seems to be a lot more confident, a lot more brave. But once you compare yourself to them, it becomes harder for you to sort of spread your wings, you know? So I think the number one thing you should do is surround yourself with people who can support you yeah. and people who believe in you. Yeah. And obviously, sometimes when you start off with the things that you want to do, you don't necessarily have people believing in you. And you have to believe in yourself first. You have to believe in yourself first before you take the first steps because if you don't, it becomes a little bit harder. So believe in yourself and have faith and believe in the process. Yeah. So um, last question. So in like five years from now, like where do you see yourself? Like obviously you want content creation to be like a full-time job for you, obviously. Um, so like where do you see yourself? What, do you, what kind of brands do you see yourself working with? So where do I see myself in five years? Okay, first of all, um, I've never been materialistic based, mm -hmm. you know? So where, where I want to see myself is in a, in a happy position. Yeah. What does that mean for me? That means that I've, I'm, I'm in a position where I'm able to put my creativity out mm -hmm. on as many platforms as possible mm -hmm. and have the recognition and acknowledgement that I, that I hope to achieve within that space of time, you know? Yeah. I want people to know Ganatana is this content creator who tries his best to make a difference in people's lives. And I know that sounds a little bit cheesy, you feel me? <laughs> but um, yeah. it's really what I wanna do, you know? And um, fingers crossed, I'll get there, you know? Yeah. Okay, so now we have like a rapid fire question. Okay, let's do let's it. see like what Yon is all about. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so okay, uh, first question. Don't think five seconds. Okay. Name the first one that comes to your mind. Lion. Lion, okay. Yes. Um, does pineapple belong on pizza? 100 percent. So you're one of those. It better be there. It better okay. be there. Uh -huh. Beach or mountain? Beach. Okay. Freedom or money? Freedom. Okay. Um, what career did you dream of having as a kid? Being a pilot. Really? Yes. Oh wow. <laughs> I wanted to be in the planes flying. That's cool. Uh -huh. That's cool. Okay. So if you could make up a holiday, what would it be named? What would it be named? Yeah. If I came up with a holiday? Yeah. Getaway. My getaway day. Get up last and I get away from uh, everything that, uh, that I'm here with, you know what I mean? Just okay. get a break from everything that I have. Oh, okay. Getaway. Okay. Yeah. And last question. 
What's the first concert you ever attended? Usher. 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 What was that? In the uh, Philippines. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know the song, Oh My. Yeah. So when he dropped that track, um, Okay, that, that would be the end. Um, Yon, thank you so much for coming on this platform and sharing like your story mm -hmm. and like motivating people out there who don't have anybody to motivate them. So yeah, thank you. And that's it, guys. <laughs> You've come to the end of this interview. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> I don't know how that... 100%. What are you talking about? <laughs> people, people who don't... How is that? Nice. Oh, so it's just nice.